What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We will be live streaming later, but first just a quick look at the Young Stars Volume 1. So we have got Erling Haaland first up. You also have Nico Williams and of course you have Cole Palmer as well. Now we need to talk a little bit about Haaland lads because he's moving very nice in the trailer. But there's a couple of stats that they just still have neglected with Haaland that make him difficult to use. Now he can still be a good super sub. We'll get into that in a second. We'll show you the build for him. We'll show you the player leveling and the guide. I know a lot of people have been asking to go back to that style. So we're going to go back and do it. Just a nice little tricky Palmer here with a lovely little back heel and a nice build for Palmer as well. I think you've got a nice mix. You've got an AMF that can definitely be endgame for you. You've got Haaland who's a required taste who has a couple of weaknesses but has a lot of strengths. And then of course you have Nico Williams who is going to have lit it up for Spain and he's not going to have a nice kit in the game. It's going to be the unlicensed kit. But I definitely think that he is a very unique card because he can cross. He's got a lot of different stuff going on with his cards. And I think that Williams is just kind of a different type of winger, but it does boil down to just him being a speedster as well. So we're going to get into that. I'm not going to delay with the builds. I know a lot of you guys want to see how we train him up. But just a little look at this pack for the Young Stars Volume 2. We are going to be getting a couple of volumes of these. Um, we do have Emery in there. We have Tell. We've got Barabi. We've got a couple of players in there. Garnacho is in there as well. But all in all, Arda Guler there, you can see him in the Madrid kit. All in all, I think it is going to be about the three big boys here, right? So we're actually going to start with Erling Haaland, okay? Now, Haaland for me is definitely a player. We'll have the build here in a second on eFootball DB. Haaland here as a goal poacher with his max booster is going to give a striker's instinct booster. His attack and awareness, his finishing and his acceleration is where you need to pump a lot of stats into Haaland. No matter what you do, lads, right? You are never, ever, ever going to be able to get that balance stat up to a usable you know, like level, right? You're not going to be able to get it to 75 balance um, without obviously just completely neglecting the rest of the cards. Now, he does have 34 levels and he does have a lot of uh, skills. He doesn't have super sub on this one, obviously, because it's, you know, it's the main kind of showtime Haaland, but he does have long range curler rising shot, long range shooting, which again, he doesn't really shoot from long range in real life, but first time shot, one touch pass, area superiority and heading, they're gonna like kind of really I would like to have seen if he did have um if he did have super sub as well that you could have kept that on, but he does have fighting spirit, air superiority and heading, as well as acrobatic finishing. So they're gonna kind of overcompensate for the lack of heading stat, and his jumping is not that great either, right? Now I'm gonna show you just a quick little build. If I was giving him an additional skill here, I would probably give him super sub and use him as that and kind of throw him on. Uh, you know, if you're chasing the game or if you want to just bring on somebody up front that can do it all, you can't dribble with him. I mean, if you're going to compare this guy with Romario, Michael Owen, Baggio, Messi, any of these, I mean, it's just a completely different player, even though he's a goal poacher, right? Now, I'm going to show you the build that we have here for him, which is right here. Now, this Haaland build, you've got four into shooting, six into dribbling, 17 into dexterity, four into aerial strength and lower body, and then one into goalkeeper one. That's going to max out his offensive awareness. You're going to have 90 finishing. You're going to have 90 speed with the boost. Obviously, the manager boost and his booster boost. You're going to have acceleration over 90. You're going to have balance over 70. And, of course, you're going to have physical contact as well as kick and power and jump. All at a really nice level. But, as I said, you're not going to get that balance up. Even with 17 into dexterity, you are literally only getting it around the mid-70s or lower 70s. So, that is a bit of a problem with that card. Now, we're also going to take a look at Nico Williams, okay? Nico is definitely one of these players that can... I think, obviously, look, when you're looking at players like this and you look at his build with his max booster, speed, acceleration, balance is phenomenal straight off the rip. He's got 31 levels. He's got a really, really nice balanced card. He's got Marseille turn. He's got double touch. He's got soul control. He's got momentum dribbling. He is going to also have pinpoint crossing. So he's going to have the showtime skill, momentum dribbling. I think that's going to be a game changer for him. Um, I know a lot of people will look as well at the AI playing styles. Look at the AI playing styles he has. Trickster, amazing run, speeding bullet, early crosser, and incisive run. So he's got the pace and trickery of a really good running um, you know, winger. But he's also got momentum dribbling and pinpoint crossing as well as early crossing, which is going to be ridiculous. Now, the AI playing styles, I'll do a video explaining that. There's a lot of confusion about it, especially with the last Romario. This is a fantastic card, and we're going to show you his build right here as well, right? Um, he's got a wavering form as well. Pretty self-explanatory, 31 levels, 11 into shooting, 10 into decks, 9 into dribbling, 5 into lower body. Don't really need to talk too much about that. Tight possession, balance, acceleration, 
And of course, you're going to have all of the ball control dribbling as well as that over the 90 and 95. And then finishing is going to be 85 as well. So no real weakness in this card. Obviously, his passing is going to have to depend on his skills and his AI rather than his stats, which isn't a big concern now with the game where it is at the moment, right? And then last but not least, we have probably the surprise pick of the pack, whole player Cole Palmer. Now, I had a version of Cole Palmer before player of the week. He was really, really nice. And he gets visionary pass, okay? So he does have double touch soul control. You can give him flip flap if you're giving him an additional skill. Um, I would also probably give him, if you are looking at giving him something a little bit unique, you could actually give him interception with the way the game is at at the moment, just because he has no defensive capabilities. You don't want him to have defensive capabilities. But if you're playing him as an attacking midfielder, you can kind of help out with just pushing the center backs with interception. Fighting spirit would also be good on this guy as well. But visionary pass obviously is a bit of a a bit of a weird one because you can't really see the, the animation of it as much as something like Blitz Curler or Pinpoint Crossing or any of those edge crossing. Um, but he does have a really nice card. And again, 31 levels. And this guy's stats, man, the way he tracks up, very, very nice as well. I was surprised because you're going to have no real weakness in him acceleration balance tight possession dribbling ball control everything's going to be around the 90 mark including speed stamina kicking power finishing and all your passing as well as your offensive awareness all going to be between 85 and 90 it's a really really nice card one weakness i would say with him will probably be his kicking power it's not as high as you would want it for a whole player if you are taking a lot of shots right now i'm going to end it with this lads a lot of people have been asking me to just do builds like this this is the builds we've gone for there's a couple of variations we'll go into the live stream later, but that is effectively what you're going to be going for. You could also go with Palmer a little bit less acceleration. You could also go with Halland a little bit less dexterity and put it into aerial strength or dribbling. You are going to have 80 dribbling on Halland with these builds, but yeah, I definitely think that you're going to be looking at these cards. Yeah, are they end game? I think they can be end game, but they're not going to compare, I don't think, with the big legends. Cole Palmer is definitely a unique one, but does he compare with Platini and Baggio and the likes of them guys? That remains to be seen. You know, it's, it's a difficult one. But that is the build. That is the review. I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Let me know what you think of this style as well. We're trying to mix it up and obviously go back, uh, you know, have the new style of, of reviewing players where we talk about the players and, the, you know, what, how, what way to build them. And then obviously showing you the builds as well. Because I do think that a lot of people like to see the builds. Um, and that's understandable. But yeah, Cole Palmer, the rest of the pack, lads, it's not really worth talking about too much. Halland, Palmer and Nico Williams... They're the, they're the picks, honestly, they are the picks there, so, yeah, that is it for me, boys, I will be back with a live stream in a little bit, probably around an hour, an hour and a half, we'll see how we go, uh, obviously, I'm back from my wedding, so we are back working today, um, but we will get on for a little bit of a stream earlier on, visionary pass, Palmer, uh, Williams with the momentum dribbling, Haaland does not get the, the, the showtime skill, I don't know why the three players don't get it, it's always only two players, but let me know what you guys think of this pack, you've got six days to spin, are you going to spin or skip? Let me know.